What's going on guys? Welcome to the winter video between Twist and Sang and T.I. As you know, it's my job to bring you the final scores for visual creativity, influence, and content of cultural importance. So, we'll be doing a little different today. It'll be a lot faster. And if you want to see full breakdowns, always head to our head-to-head -head videos where me and Bruce watch the videos and discuss what we see and what we hear. All right, links will be in the descriptions down below. All right, so first up we have visual creativity. TI takes this one 10 to Twisted and Sane 7. The reason why TI comes out on top is his use of multiple characters, multiple environments, allowing for the video to tell a separate story or to give you separate situations, not being cradled by what he was rapping completely about. Now, while Twisted and Sane's video did have multiple characters, he didn't have as many as T.I. Twisted and Sane's video is more meant to help you envision what he's rapping about. They go hand in hand, like they're very parallel. What he's rapping about and what you're seeing in the visuals. Very well shot, uh, not as well shot as uh, T.I.'s video. Uh, the use of the graphics and the multiple camera angles when the little boy shot the last guy at the end looked great but there were some mishaps like when he came out the bathroom and shot C. Ray there was no blood or nothing like that you know what I'm saying a couple of mishaps in there in that video but uh, T.I.'s was just the better video okay so T.I. takes this one 10 to 7. Influence. Man. Influence is one of those hard things you just have to kind of understand when you're dealing with two separate artists and with what they normally tend to rap about. T.I. also wins this one 10 to 6 over Twisted Insane. Uh, it's... T.I.'s influence is known. He's known as one of the originators of Trap. <laughs> uh, his Grand Hustle label. He's been pushing that forever. He's a staple within the South, within the South music. And Trap drums are actually used abroad now. So the Trap sound coming from, from out, out of Atlanta and being pushed and more or less known to just go with the TI. Twisted Insane is a known chopper of the underground, known a lot more for his rapid fire rapping ability, coupled in with his horror gore or you know shock value tactics in videos and within lyrics. So it's, it's a lot it's not a big of a it's not as big as the genre of hip hop and rap that it is when it comes down to trap music so T.I. takes his, it takes influence 10 to 6 content of cultural importance <sighs> This one is actually very, very, a, a lot closer than most of y'all might think, okay? T.I. takes content of cultural importance 10 to 8 over Twisted Insane. Uh, I know some of y'all are thinking that the content within Twisted Insane's, of, of the song Lucifer was, you know, very important. And it very much is. It very, very much is. Uh, but when we want to talk about 
the rallying cry, the educating, having an establishment that was a that is abusing power. Guys, that's as old as society itself. Fighting against an abusive established power. It's it's as old as society. So whether you're talking about police or government to where they go hand in hand, <laughs> it's just more content. While he also explained laws, explained where some things came from. So he has the teaching factor in there. Twist and Saints content within the song is to help you understand that certain people are pushed to do actions or become a person that they would never truly become if people didn't bring a type of negative force or negative action against the person. So that should be mentioned that that does happen quite a bit with people. People sometimes say, well, this is who you made me out to be. Your actions made me this. I'm just only matching energy for energy, right? It's also something that is highly known, but T.I. just takes it because of the teaching factor in which he brought with his content. Trying to explain, trying to get people to see another side of something. So T.I. takes it 10 to 8 on content of cultural importance. So as you all know, my deed is done. So I'm going to kick it on over to Bruce, who's going to score flow and skill and musicality. Bruce, go ahead. Take it, bro. It's all you. Okay, y'all. So it's my turn. You know what I do. Skill, flow, and musicality. Let's talk about the skill and the flow first. Uh, obviously, obviously, you would say to yourself, Twisted Insane wins this. You'd be right. He wins this one, 10 to seven. And I'm just gonna, for all you TI fans, I'm just gonna break it down the actual numbers right here, okay? What we do, as always, you take a look right here. You see all the different note values. I count all the different times that the styles change, that the secondary and the primary rhymes and, and uh, rhyming words fall on the different note values, how many times they change that up, how many times they do triplets, how many, how many rests there are, how long the rests are, and how many of those are significant. And right now, we have Twisted Insane got it, 27 of these different note values and significant timings and space values, which is the rests. T.I. got 22 of them. Believe it or not, just because you're rhyming fast doesn't mean you get more of those because you keep on doing the same ones over and over again. Tech 9 is really good at changing that. Even though he's going fast, he still finds a way to change up the, the beat and the placement every time. Twisted and Insane is super dope. And so he can go really fast, but he only does that, those changes, those significant changes 27 times. T.I. did it 22 times. That ends up around a 10 to 8 score. But T.I. loses another one because of difficulty. We had to give an extra point for uh, Twisted Insane's level of difficulty in how fast he is going. So that ends up being 10 to 7 Twisted Insane. Win skill and flow.